Oh, look at what we could do with this. After playing a card that deals damage, deal three magic damage, inflict shock to a random enemy. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna move over here. We're gonna put the play the power, which is gonna start just doing all this type of stuff. Static, discharge, deal two damage, inflict shocked on it. Oh my gosh, look at all that bounce. Look at, that was insane. Hello everyone, time to grind here, and today I wanted to play some Trials of Fire. And Trials of Fire is a new roguelite deck builder that just came out. Uh, it kind of has like aspects of tactical RPGs, and you choose several different heroes to go on an adventure with you. And so I played the combat tutorial, so I at least know how to like play the game, but I have not played the game itself yet. I wanted to kind of give you guys my first impressions of it. So we're gonna just jump right into it. We're going to start a quest here. Um, and what are lore quests? I guess these are like missions or something like that. We'll just do the starting one, 90 to 120 minutes. Um, I guess difficulty, that's probably ascension level. We'll stay on medium uh, to begin with. And our party, I guess we only have like the three main people unlocked. I'm sure we'll unlock more. Okay, yeah, we literally unlock these heroes. So we have our hunter, our warrior, our ele elementalist. Uh, they all have different kind of things here and stuff like that. Um, and I, I guess we'll we'll just jump into it. So I don't really know what to expect, but um, I the game seems really really cool. So the settlement Tel Terralin, which that's a lot of that's a lot of lore. But so the settlement Terralin is dying. You must travel to an elven palace to locate the legendary water stone and save your people from the drought. So that's our new objective. Okay, continue. Welcome to Ash. To complete your quest to save Terralyn, you must undertake a perilous journey over the surface of a ravaged planet. Follow the golden objective marker to reach your next quest destiny. destination. To keep your supplies up and to find weapons and equipment crucial to your quest, the party must visit points of interest highlighted on the map. During the journey, you will need to keep track of your party's fatigue and moral levels. Okay. Keep an eye on your party's fatigue level to keep in top fighting form. To keep your party fresh, be sure to regularly... Uh, be sure to rest regularly by clicking this image. You will get the most benefit from resting in ruins and settlements where you can find shelter from the harsh conditions of ash. Resting requires food supplies. Because of the urgency of your mission, you only have a limited time to complete your objective before your despair overtakes your heroes. Take some time to explore, but keep moral high by making steady progress. So I guess this is our food supplies here. This is mystic herbs. That's some money. Uh, that's our morale. And uh, fresh. Okay, this is a little overwhelming at first, but uh, bookmarks. You can view your party's inventory as well as the items currently equipped by clicking on one of your hero portraits on the left book. Oh, whoa, okay. From the inventory scene, you can see the deck of skill cards each hero takes in the battle along the bottom of the screen. You can customize this deck by leveling up heroes through battle or by equipping each one of them with different weapons, items, and armor. Try equipping or unequipping some items by dragging them to or from the anatomical slots in your character to see if it has an effect on your hero's deck. Click on the bookmark on the top right of the screen to return. So what, like we take that out? Like we take that and we would, oh, okay. So like, because we have the crude spear that actually adds that strike through card and stuff like that. So that's interesting. So we just go back here. Um, choices matter. The game constantly saves your progress so you can leave and drop back at any time, but there is no going back on your choices. Be warned though, the Land of Ash is brutal and unforgiving and death in Trials of Fire is permanent. If your whole party is defeated in battle, you'll need to start a new adventure. Okay. That sounds good to me, so uh, I guess this is our people. I don't know, are we needing to go left to right? What, what, what What's going on here? I don't know. We'll go over here. You come across the remains of an old castle atop a large hill. You're able to find a small cache of dried food in the main keep that will certainly hold on. So we just get food. Okay. That's easy enough. After exploring for a short while, Malkin spots what appears to be an elementalist tower as part of the main keep. Adjacent is a lookout tower that is slightly higher than the first tower. Attempt to jump from the lookout tower. Um, attempt to jump. Screw it. Jera goes first and is able to grab hold of the parapets and pulls herself safely up on the other side. Markin follows next and is helped up safely. Oh, we did it. Nice. So we got a crude sling, um, ranged attack, then draw a card. Okay. And a tome. Okay. So we're getting a bunch of stuff. I don't know how these work. So we'll continue here. So now like what? We go over here and we can 
Uh, weapons and armor from the screen. You can also view your hero's total armor and weapon quality vial, uh, values hover over armor. Each point of armor gives additional health at the start. This provides a small buffer before you start taking permanent health damage. I like that. Quality, I guess, is... Huh, okay, there's a lot going on here, but either way, I want to put the tome there. It's gonna add two awesome cards there, I'm assuming, and then we'll add the crude sling, add an awesome card there. I can't, I'm assuming I can't take, yeah, like, you got, like, just base cards that you gotta take. So, now, I don't know, am I supposed to be... Hmm, I don't really know where I'm supposed to be going and looking for, but... Um, Caesar runes... And elven runes? I don't know. I don't really know where I'm going. Oh, there's a compass, I guess. Got some food supplies. Nice. And some uh, mystic herbs can be used to improve your hero's dex by meditating, removing an injury while resting. Okay. Sounds pretty good. Um, we're going to just keep traveling to where this arrow is. You come across a clump of rocks with some hardened spiny vines jutting from the ground. A single decomposing... Uh, rattling. Oh my, there's so much lore on this. That's insane. Can be seen trapped amongst the sharp vines and a small pack lies nearby. Try to free the body. We're just gonna take a rattling's pack and move on. Oh my gosh. Bone shield. That can be equipped by everyone. And treaded leather. Common crafting material. Oh, it upgrades. We uh, get something that upgrades his sling? How does that work? How does that work? Maybe we, oh, okay, we probably have to go like a blacksmith. But the other thing was we had a shield. Gives armor. We'll give, I don't know, this warrior some armor. She didn't have really anything, so. Um, I'm gonna just keep going down, honestly. It's getting nighttime, oh. We're tired. I don't care that you're tired. So, there's just some place that, okay, runes. We could like rest here, right? Um, in the ruins of what appears to be a human town, you come across a group of humans who have captured a single rattling. Upon noticing the party, the captive calls out desperately. Help the traitor confront the bandits. Um, leave the traitor to it. No, yeah, let's help the traitor. Battle side quest. Let's, let's get a battle in here. I want to show you guys what this is like because it's like a hex grid thing here. So I'm going to spend a tiny bit of time explaining what I learned from the um, thing. I learned a lot from the tutorial. It was very involved, but every single hero I have gets their own deck of cards and their own, you know, stuff like that. And so every turn you draw three cards and you have to like recycle. So say I don't want to use this. I right click it and I get one mana. Um, I can, you know, undo that. Um, but so you have to choose what you don't want to use, what you do want to use, and if you like recycle something, you can use it for mana to pay for things, you can use it to move your character, um, or you can use it to give them a little bit of shield. And these both are like their own heroes here, so um, let's see what we got. Got a bunch of actions and basics, um, ranged attack, and also like if we mouse over each of these classes, you can see they have like perks. So like the hunter, lethal, your first attack on a single target, each turn deals two damage. Um, and then our warrior is once per turn after you play a card and are adjacent to an enemy it defend two on all other heroes and uh, Elementalist is the first card you play each turn cost minus one willpower. So And I'm assuming it only applies to like yeah each person. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and use advance here and move um, That move, move our Elementalist there I don't really think we can, like, yeah, attack in any way. So we'll probably just burn both of these cards. Um, melee attack. There's a lot of melee attacks here, so I'll use this to, like, move this guy. Um, do another one to move the warrior in a little bit more. Probably, like, there. Then we'll do another one, so it's going to get plus two. That's what that plus two is. Um, okay. We'll do this. Move there. Can we shoot? Okay, there we go. Five damage. And we can't do a melee attack. Actually, yeah, we'll use that to actually... Mm. Oh, whoa, that... Recycles, like, a lot of stuff here. I guess, like, all the... Oh, the, all the unused stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so... We're actually gonna use that to move... I still wanna stay hidden. Actually, we're gonna go in an aggressive position there. I think that's what we do. Um, we're gonna use this to... Yeah, there we go. That's what we do. And then you end your turn, you draw new cards, 
Oh, I guess we fatigued because we're weak or something. And they get to do their stuff. So he's going to move, gain willpower. Move and gain willpower. Add a power on him, which is like a passive um, action knife attack. Oh, dang. And defend too. But yeah, what powers are is you put them on you and they're like passives. So this bandit robber just now always has uh, all attack steal plus one damage. But if that green triangle, four, if I do four damage to that person total, all their power will be gone. So like I have powers as well. Every time you play a card that deals one magic damage, gain a willpower. That's pretty cool. But, uh, hmm. Melee attack four or range attack three. Melee attack three or range attack two. Also, hits anyone directly behind the target. If you hit two, okay, watch this. We're gonna move right here. And then we're gonna move right here. And then, um, we'll get rid of one of those advances. We're gonna spike through. Nice. And because if you're adjacent to someone that attacks, like she attacked as well. It's like there's all these like combo type things. Um, we'll strike. Um, I guess we'll put the power on, on her. Um, oh, actually, there we go. I don't think we're going to need the power, but... There's fatigued on draw, discard this car. Oh, so because our guy's fatigued, he's only going to be drawn like. That's interesting. That's it. That's all you're going to do. That's all you're going to do. Oh, so like this guy has a power, or our, our warrior has a power where she'll defend two after performing a melee attack. That's awesome. Melee attack two, then melee attack two. Okay. Oh, not enough willpower. Okay, well, we'll get rid of. Magic attack two to a target within three spaces. Okay, let's just get in position. There we go, deal damage there. And then we'll just power shot. Oh, power shot costs, costs a lot here. Okay, now we should be able to double strike. There we go, look at that. Look at that. It's very satisfying, like it feels very tactile, like Surprisingly, so we get to choose someone to level up. I want to level up our, our hunter, honestly. Oh Class skills drag a skill card from below to replace one of your old class skills or click on a card on the left to upgrade it. Oh So we either replace something or upgrade that is interesting Summons a bone wolf can perform combo strikes in response to range attacks and all okay. Well, if you guys have watched this channel, you know I love summons. So we're going to do that. And we're going to take away one... What are these improvised attacks? Oh no, I, I think that's pretty decent. Focus. Let's get rid of just one of the advances. Yeah, let's do that. Confirm. We got some gold. Uh, force rod. So that's interesting. All the equipment is what gives the cards. Got some knives that I can um, put in a certain slot. This is really cool. After the last bandit is defeated, the rattling trader uh, thanks Rastin for his help. He offers a substantial reward, but only if the party can escort him back to a nearby town. Sure, we'll escort him. Resting, the party has been traveling nonstop, and now would be a good time to stop and rest before your heroes are too tired to fight effectively. The more sheltered your current location, the more effective your rest will be, and if you can find a settlement or living world ruin to rest, such as your current location, you can also restore a little bit of health for all heroes. To make camp, click on the stamina tracker above the venture map. Camp tutorial. Although your mission is urgent, you will need to stop to rest and recover stamina and health along the way. Each time you rest, your party will consume one unit of food, so make sure you keep stocked up. I mean, this is way more involved than I was expecting. Uh, you can use the downtime and the resources you've collected to improve your hero's decks by choosing one of the available camp activities every time you rest. Try to do this whenever you can, as your time is limited. Regardless of the activity, you will always need one food and will restore stamina and health based on where you are camped. Okay, well, meditating to upgrade or forget a class card. Let's upgrade the item. We have the material, right? Click on an item. Didn't we have something? This upgrades that. Oh, I don't have enough. Okay. Uh, then we'll meditate, yeah. Oh, do I, do I pick? Use a mystic herb. How do I choose what person? Oh. 
Oh, okay. I could just choose. Okay. So we have our warrior. Can we upgrade the bone wolf? Yeah, let's upgrade the bone wolf, dude. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay. Rest. Here we go. You need at least one mystic herb. What? Oh, do we not have any mystic herbs? Oh, I guess we don't. Required. What? I'm very, I'm, I'm very confused here. How do I look at the level up people's skills? Is there not a way to do that? Huh. Just rest, I guess, then. Okay, break camp. Unless we somehow did that multiple times. I hope we didn't. Um, elven runes. Yeah, I mean, we always go check out these. Rastin finds something remarkable amongst the runes. An ornate elven device drawing a trickle of water up from deep beneath the ground. Okay, actually, before we fight, didn't we have something we could equip on, like, her? Yeah, there we go. Oh, and yeah, we had a different wand. So this was melee attack to then push all enemies' spaces. The one I had was the flaming damage. I think that's better. Okay, so let's let's do this fight here. Oh, we're in a different environment. Okay. Gotta fight some basilisks here. So, do we have any powers? Whenever you play a card, random ranged attack one. Then this power loses one resilience. What is random ranged one? Random. I'm, I'm hoping that means I can't hurt my own people. But we'll get rid of the swipe. We'll play volatile fire. Um, get rid of the swipe. Man, all these are melee. Every time you play a card that deals range damage, gain one willpower. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get a lot of powers on. And then, let's see. Range attack three, then draw a card, deal two damage if your previous card was played. Oh, was a, played was a move card. Okay, so we're going to do this so we can, like, move here. And then we'll shoot. Oh, not enough willpower. We're not going to use wild swing. There we go. That was some damage there. And now you can see, like, the gem on the bottom is used up, which means we use that. Um, can we hit anything? Magic attack two to a target within three spaces. Well, that's not going to... We're going to move him back hiding, and we're going to do this so we can move a little bit more in position here. Interesting that they have, like, the sight line stuff, too. So they're, they have to move, they have to use their cards to move too. So I like that they are like, they play by the same rules as me. Not like in Slay the Spire where it's like they're just doing random things. Summoning skill cards allows you to add an extra creature or character to your team. Summoned creatures have a single free action each turn, which can either be used to move or to attack using the attack type displayed at the top left of the skill card. Any additional special abilities of the summoned creature are also listed. So yeah, let's, let's, let's get this freaking Bane Wolf. Um, what do we not need right now? We don't need to advance. We don't need to shield bash. Ooh, adrenaline. But, um, and we don't need this advance here. So we're gonna summon the Bane Wolf. And now, can I, can I attack with them now? Wait, what? Can perform combo strikes in response to ranged attacks. And all combo strikes deal one damage. What is that? What? What am I doing? I don't, maybe he can't attack right now. That's my guess. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna just assume he can't do anything. Uh, move three, random ranged attack two, magic attack four. Any damage bonus. Okay, well we could probably just do not enough willpower. Oh, move three, ranged attack two. Oh, there's so many things I wanna do right now. Let's, yeah, power shot that. Oh, combo strike. Look at that Bane Wolf. That's what it means. Oh, so it attacked the Basilisk because it had that combo strike because it was next to him, but it counts for the range attacks too. And all combo, that is awesome. That is actually really, really cool. So then we'll just, yeah. Destroy that, use this, get a little bit of um, shield and end our turn here. Okay, this is a very interesting game here. Iron skin. 
You can now use your summoned unit. Unlike regular characters, summoned units are activated once for free each turn, but can't recycle skill cards to give them additional activations. Instead of moving for their activation, all summoned units can make a basic attack action. To do this, simply drag the activated unit onto a valid enemy target. Summons with a melee attack type can move to make their attack. Huh, okay. Oh, so it's like we just move and like they can technically hit. Okay. Um, let's see. Strike through. Don't want to hit our own person. So we're going to use strike through to uh, come right up close. Yeah, one of your heroes is going to be able to do a combo strike. That's where they automatically attack. Yeah, try to outnumber and surround your enemies. Yeah, just like the adjacency thing. So... If you mouse over an enemy with a melee attack card, you will see a preview of which friendly characters can and cannot make a combo strike. Friendlies that can... Why wouldn't you be able to? Oh, a character cannot perform a combo strike if they are adjacent to more than a single enemy. Oh. That's interesting, because, yeah, otherwise, like, they would be outnumbered or something. So, we will... Does ranged hap... Oh, may not be performed if you're adjacent. Yeah, that makes sense. So, we deal the three damage, and our thing hits there. Which, oh yeah, what was the power we had on here? Every time you play a card that deals range damage, gain one. Oh, nice. That still counts, apparently. Um, okay, we're gonna move. Oh, man. The, the dog is kind of taking up time, or taking up. Deal three magic damage to all enemies within three spaces. Well, yeah, that'll hit it. Nice. Got the combo strike. That That is such a cool summon. Um, magic attack on all targets in the indicated area. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, no, it's not fine. Now, okay, we're gonna hit our own guy. I don't care. <laughs> Actually, I hope it, like, they regen their health because it's a card, I would hope. Uh, level someone up. Okay. We, okay, we have Mystic Herbs now, so... Um, let's upgrade, yeah. Anything interesting we can get with this magic person? Defend for in any character. After playing a card that deals damage, deal two magic damage and inflict shock to a random... Okay, I like that. I like that. So we're going to get rid of just a normal swipe. That's interesting that you have like a limited amount of things. Oh, is this the side quest? Oh, yeah, let's... Let's go do the side quest here. Uh, yeah, our people are still fresh here. Also, this is a town, so we might stop here. The rattling takes the party to an affluent area in the center of the settlement and soon finds his old business, a large trading post in the building. We complete it. We get to level someone up here. Um, a lot of powers. Maybe I shouldn't be taking all powers, you know? Move two to target, melee attack three, and inflict a mobilize. Character cannot voluntarily move. That's actually really good. I'll replace one of our swipes with that. And we got some more gold, got some more mystic herbs. Oh. Wait. Do we get all of this? We get all of this? Crafting materials, a belt, crafting material. Oh my gosh. Oh, I cannot, why can't I take this? Oh. Oh. He was selling me things. I'm so stupid. I was like, are you giving me all of this? Like, what? Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Shuffle two cards from Shiv, Simple Shot, and Guard into your deck. The next time you draw cards this turn, draw one additional card. That's that's pretty good. Especially that's free, I think. It's a free action. So we'll get that. Yeah, we'll just get that. And a belt. You may hold on to one additional card this turn. At the end of your turn, reduce the cost of all cards in your hand by... Okay, yeah, we'll get both of those. Um, a belt. This, I think I just want to draw a bunch more cards with that. Belt, we could probably... Yeah. Put on there. Okay. This is very interesting. Runes. Um, yeah, we'll go to these runes here. Suddenly, a blue bolt of plasma hits the ground in front of the party, signaling the start of a dangerous aurora storm. Jera breaks into a sprint towards a nearby tower with the rest of the party in pursuit, but a group of rattlings bars... Oh, refuse to pay. Yeah, we're going to force our way in. Let's get into a battle. Let's go. Oh, these are these are bowmen. 
Environmental effects. Some battles will take place under harsh environmental conditions. Pay close attention to the effect by mousing over the icon next to the recycle shrine at the top of the screen. Um, these effects will target both teams. So what was this? At the end of your turn, lightning will hit doing three magic damage to all characters indicated in the area. So I don't think we know what the area is right now. Uh, we got a power here. Gain one, pill one willpower at the start of your turn. Just... Oh, we could put it on other people. That's interesting. Um, we'll go ahead and obviously just keep it on ourselves here. Um, and move three. We'll do running shot, I guess. Random range attack two. Will, will it? No, okay. So it's not. It doesn't work like that. Well, what if we move like here and then we running shot? One, two, is that gonna work? Okay, that works. Um, swipe, melee attack, okay, bone wolf, actually. You know what, let's, uh, I don't know what I'm doing here, I just put them, okay. Move to, yeah, let's, let's do this. Let's do this, cause then we can, shield bash, not gonna use that, not gonna use that. Not, I just, yeah, do all of that, get a bone wolf in, I guess. Probably could have moved him a little bit more, but is that gonna? Oh, that's not enough. Oh, we don't have enough for the range, man. Okay. Okay. Oh, so here's the storm. We got to get out of that storm. And I guess like they probably can see the storm too. Oh, range attack! They shot that guy. But yeah, I like that the enemies are like playing the same game that we're playing. It feels. Oh my gosh, they are hurting my warrior. Double strike. Shuffle two cards. Okay, yeah, this is that's just a free action that we want to do. Oh, you get to pick. That's awesome. Um, okay, we're gonna... Yeah, go there. Wait, no! I didn't want you there. I wanted you the other way. Yeah, I want you here. There you go. I was like, I do not want him in the storm. Um, we'll focus, move right here. Power shot. Oh, that costs two. It's going to do five damage. Um, warrior. Yeah, maybe we, we need to get up here. Wild swing, deal three to six. Melee attack two. Focus missile. Hmm. I think we get rid of that. And we come here. Hit that. I don't... Ah, man. We're still not going to kill them. Um, volley fire. Like that. Should I have done this? I'm assuming it's whenever he plays the card. Also, yeah. No, we need to get out of the storm. That's another thing. Let's just come over here. We can finish off this guy at least. Force missile. Nice. Okay. Still these people over here, but hopefully they will hit the, um, they will hit the dog. Oh, dang. Quick shot. Get out of here. Um, why can't I play? Oh, that was like the free card. Oh no, I should have brought... whatever. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I want you to attack. There you go. There you go. And then we'll just... Yeah, ranged attack and ranged attack. Nice. Okay. So our warrior took a little bit of damage there, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, let's level up this hunter again. Uh, can we upgrade Bone Wolf? No, we cannot. I guess you can only upgrade everything once. Which is probably fair. Um, cover shot, range attack three. Then if you're adjacent to an obstacle, defend. Let's just upgrade like improvised attack or something like that. It's a very versatile thing. We got a, a heavy armor here. Um, let's give our warrior the better armor, I guess. Defensive stand. So yeah, because they all have different cards too. That's so interesting. Um... Grasslands, yeah, we don't, we, oh, whoa, whoa. 
Up ahead, you spot a strange looking geyser periodically shooting a jet of green liquid into the air. The liquid falls down a deep hole before landing with a violent hiss. Use container to try to keep some of the dangerous liquid. Reward 66% health. You know what we're just gonna. Uh, yeah, you know, screw it. Jarrah uses a glass container to try to catch some of the acidic at liquid the next time it shoots from the geyser. Unfortunately, a small amount of the liquid splashes out onto her forearms in the process, causing painful burns even through clothing. So she took two damage, but we got an acidic potion. Oh, where we put like acid on someone. I like that. Um, I think that is. No, okay, we'll put put that on her. Okay. Um, what is this? We're tired. Let's go to the runes here, and then I want to go. Oh, it's following us. In a partly ruined human town, taken over by ratlings, you see three ratlings enjoying a game of hoops. Um, asked to join the game. Oh, they cost money. Resin throws a rope circle around one of the rattling pegs. The rattling applaud you warmly and ask you to fetch your twenty obsidian and winnings. Oh, oh, it's gambling. Nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say nah. I'm gonna say no. Okay, we're gonna heal here. Um, can we upgrade anything? We could not upgrade anything. Don't have enough materials. Meditate. Okay. Um, I want to upgrade. Okay, so I can't upgrade that. Um, that would be awesome. To, every time you play a card that deals match damage, upgrading it just makes it what cheaper. Now, what's like a power that we have? Every time you play a card, deal one damage. Was there one that was like every time we're like constantly hurting someone? I thought there was. But you know what? We're gonna do. Oh, after playing a card that deals damage, deal two magic damage. Yeah, I, I want to upgrade that. Uh, rest. Nice. Okay, so we did it. So now break camp. Let's go fight whatever this is. The leader of the group approaches you and demands you hand over a goodwill payment. Refuse their demands. Come here, I'ma fight you. I'ma fight you. Okay, hybrid slaver, hybrid slaver. Okay, do we have any powers here? Gain one willpower at the start of your turn? Yep. Because this is going to be a probably a pretty long fight here so range attacks um so i can move okay i'm not obviously going to strike we can do that and then we can do a ranged attack we're not going to be able to play or ranged attack too oh that i could i could do that ranged that's insane okay well i'm not going to be able to use swipe so let's do ranged attack and then i'm not going to be able to do wild swing so we'll yeah, this archer here. Um, and then we will use this to advance, and then we will do a missile. Oh, it's out of range. Um, use that, move warrior up a little bit, and we'll just do that to gain some defense, I guess. I guess that's what we do. Okay, what are they gonna do? Defend to four. Defend two. Okay, you're just getting a bunch of defense, getting up in our face. Range attack them, pull them in. Oh, wow. I, yeah, that's not good. Okay. Um, let's see. Power shot, range attack. Yeah, we'll, we'll do a range attack there. Actually. Dead space. Okay, shield bash. That's not doing anything for us. So we're going to... Oh, I don't have any good cards here. Every time you play a card that deals melee damage... Yeah, I don't really have too much good stuff for this, but... Magic attack four. Okay, we're gonna swipe first of all. There we go. Then we combo strike. And then we will... Just attack. Oh, it actually hit the other person. Oh. I guess... The combo thing only happens if it's a... Melee. I guess that makes sense. So, deal four. Yeah. There we go. Killed that person. And then we can... Power shot. We drew a card, which is a swipe. Not going to help us out. But we'll use it to, hey, get two, two shield. I like that you can, like, the whole economy is, like, the cards that you draw. Um, yeah, we're just going to inflict acid. Oh, no, we're not. Move three, random ranged attack. And then we'll acid it. 
Oh, named effects. Named effects are ongoing effects that can help or hinder characters. Name effects are shown in the card description. A named effect will last until the affected character's turn. Applying the same named effect more than once will not double up the effect, but will increase the duration. Oh, so what is acid? Whenever acid is inflicted, deal one status damage per stack of acid. Huh. Um. Oh, immobilize. Yeah, let's freaking immobilize this person. We're gonna, yeah, move up there. Oh, I should have had that person closer. Also, yeah, this Bane Wolf, but... Deal four damage. And... Yep, you know, Chaos Missile. Okay, he's gonna get one more attack in or something. So what, is that acid going away right now? I guess so. But okay, this should be this should be relatively easy. We'll just um, I don't I don't want to catch my person on fire. It's probably actually not the uh, not the best idea. Combo strike, and then we double strike. Actually, we double strike. So yeah, I guess you could just like double strike with the combo strike and stuff. Man, this is interesting. Okay, let's level up this person. Um, hmm. Iceland, static, deal two magic damage, inflict shock on an enemy within two spaces, and then jump to a different enemy. I like that, I like that. We're gonna change force missile for that. Get some carrots, some bones, all that good stuff. Um, okay, let's, let's make our way. Let's make our way down here. I don't know how far away it is. Is that are those ruins over there? Or a settlement? I guess we'll make our way over there. Oh, that that's the quest right there. You uh, can just about make out a young female hybrid with her arms and head chained to the remains of a sturdy building. She's surrounded by a mob of ratlings who are throwing clumps of something foul smelling at her. Try to help the prisoner by running back into the square square, warning the villagers of an impending attack by a dragon. 50%, 50%. Attempt to Yeah, let's do that. You're not entirely sure if this risky plan will work, but if you act it out with as much gusto as you can muster. However, when you return to the square, the crowd is beginning to disperse and the lifeless body of the hybrid hangs limply. Oh no. You find a rattling traitor who will. Oh no. That's not good. That's not good. Okay, let's shelter here. Oh, we can upgrade. Oh, we can upgrade a lot of things here. Um. Let's upgrade our main strike through sword, which would just buff that. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Okay, break camp. So this is where we gotta go. You find the remains of the elven palace that is still partly cemented in the treetops. From the markings, you are sure that this is the place you are looking for. The water stone must be near. It soon becomes clear that the palace is not deserted. Jaro hears a voice from inside and there are rattling shadows moving in the elemental lights. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Elite enemies. You've encountered an elite enemy. Elite enemies are generally tougher and more dangerous than standard enemies, but more importantly, each has a unique and dangerous ability that you should always be aware of when fighting. To view the ability of an elite enemy, hover to bring up its character pop. So what? What's the elite enemy? Rattling Sorcerer. Swarm Leader. All other enemy units gain plus two defense at the start of their turns. We really just want to kill the Sorcerer. That's what you're telling me right now. So, uh, well, yeah, gain a... Gain the prepare, so we'll gain a willpower each turn. Uh, wild swing, whatever. Actually, you know what? I don't want. I don't want. No, no, yeah. We're gonna get rid of this double strike, and we're gonna power shot that guy. Get a lot of damage in here. Um, I don't know. We I, we don't have as much movement as I really would like, but we definitely want. I guess get her out of there. Give her some shield. Um, whenever you play a card, random range attack one then this part oh yeah let's do that let's get that and then we'll just move a little bit closer and use that okay oh you know what I don't want uh, I was hoping to have this person have this shield but I obviously don't think that's gonna happen so okay probably gonna have a lot of stuff happen here Oh, he's retreating? Get out of here. Maybe we should have just killed the our, like one of the archers. Actually, would we have even been able to? I don't know. We got our bone wolf, though, so... 
Oh, caught us on fire. Stuff for two status damage. Or whenever you... Oh my gosh. Oh my... Okay, do we have the... Uh... Oh, look at what we could do with this. After playing a card that deals damage, deal three magic damage, inflict shock to a random enemy. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna move over here. We're gonna put the play the power, which is gonna start just doing all this type of stuff. Static, discharge, deal two damage, inflict shocked on it. Oh my gosh, look at all that bounce. Look at, that was insane. Okay, okay. Um, oh, we probably could have, uh, Bone Wolf isn't happening right now. It's definitely not happening. So we'll kill that archer. Oh my gosh, and we keep doing all that shock stuff. Uh, sh shuffle two cards. Oh yeah. So let's just get simple shots. And we will use this to move up a little bit. Okay. Okay, this is really cool. And then the fire happens, so... It's no longer on fire. Yeah, like, we don't want this person taking damage because the two powers that we have on her would, uh, break. Which we might actually take some damage here. They're doing a bunch of quirky stuff over here. Oh, no. Two damage. We still have... Oh, if they do any more damage. Don't hit the purple one. Okay. Oh, jeez. This range guy is almost... Dang. Okay. We don't need that power. Um, simple shot. Or range attack three. Let's move. Defensive stance, we don't need that. And we'll advance, I, I mean, might as well play that. And then wild swing. I don't, oh, okay, it dealt a little bit. I think it dealt three damage there. Um, simple shot. Nice, kill that person. Uh, I guess we can acid throw on that. It's not gonna be doing the... Oh, 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 I forgot. <laughs> you had the Volleyball and uh, Storm Conduit. That's it's pretty good. Every time you play a card that deals ranged damage, gain or willpower, nope. Um, ranged, oh, there's something in the way. I see. So we're gonna use one of those to move closer, use the other one to just get in block. I'm gonna have this, we're gonna, we're closing in on him. It's just the Rattling Sorcerer left. Spark inflict burning on a character. Okay, that's fair. That's all you're doing? That's all you're doing? I don't I don't know what to uh, to tell you here. Oh, I gotta get the I gotta pay for this. Yeah. Okay, he's a mobile can't move. Um let's see, we can Simple shot. Oh yeah, simple shot. That's the... Oh, line of sight's blocked. I didn't... I mean, I guess I knew that, but... Okay. Um, advance. Well, what about fire? Oh, the fire would hit the... What happens if we move... Right here? Did I fire in any way? Nope. Okay. Um... Advance here. This is what we do. And then we just do this to get over here. And deal three damage. There we go. Catch him on fire. And then do all that sorts of damage here. And then I guess we, uh... Can't really... Do much here. We can... Move. Oh, maybe we might be able to move enough? Because I think we could shoot over our teammates. Yes! We did it. We freaking did it. The sorcery had already collected some interesting items. So we level up here. Um... Hmm. Yeah, let's just upgrade Adrenaline. Oh, we got another level up. Give me my Hunter level up here. Um, all range attacks deal two damage. Range attack three, then active. Activate all other friendly characters. An activated unit can perform a free move of two action. Deadeye. No, let's do... Honestly, let's just upgrade this guy's stuff. I think that's what we do. Let's make that cheaper to play. Legendary item. Click here to select a legendary. Legendary crafting material. Crazy legendary weapon. Um, 
Whenever you perform a combat strike, all of your melee attack cards gain two. Yeah, let's get that. Get a crazy awesome blade. Okay, you go through searching the elven rune and find the water stone in what was once a garden terrace. The artifact is unfortunately completely intact and would be useless in its current state. Oh, inert. Completely inert. Charge the water gem. The party has recovered. Now they must locate a sky pool. Oh. There's tons of level ups here. Ice lance. I just want to level up the things we have. Like static discharge. We got a real awesome build here. Got a crazy hammer. Okay, got a ton of stuff here. Legendary items, as well as providing skill cards, legendary items give a hero a permanent combat bonus. Yeah, so that's that's definitely what we want here. Oh wait. Oh, is that not who do we equip this on? Oh, is that not what I I thought I could equip it on? Whenever you perform a combo strike, all of your melee attack cards in hand get I can't put this on the main person I was thinking? That's really bad here. Actually. Okay, well. Put the hammer on, on her. Um, I don't know. I guess we'd be more likely to have... Oh, that's... Hmm. Okay, spear through. We're going to replace that with the blue... That's interesting. This is this is a really interesting way to do this. And we got some awesome armor here, uh, which we'll give to our warrior. And then we'll give them that. Okay. So where do we got to go now? All the way over here? I'm okay with that. We got this. Crazy enemy over here or something like that. After searching an elven school or academy, you come across what appears to be a vault with its door broken outwards. As you approach, you hear a cry from behind, uh, turns you around to see a group of bandits approaching. Oh, okay. Okay, I see what I see. I see how it is. I see how it is. Um. Do we have any powers that we really want to get? All attacks that deal plus two damage on play defend four. So. Okay. Ooh, I want to do thinking ahead. That's just really good. Just get too ranged there. Um, we're not going to be able to do this. Not going to be able to do this. Yeah, I guess we'll get the power there. And we'll advance up here. Acid flask. Oh my god, I can throw that far. That's insane. Gain one willpower at the start of each turn. It's pretty good. And then ranged attack. Oh, I don't have enough willpower. Dang. Okay, we'll use that to like block some a little bit. I'm surprised we were able to throw that acid flask so far. Dead eye. Oh, they're playing all ranged attacks. Deal two damage here. And I'm. I don't know if that means only for the person or for all of their stuff. Oh, dang. Okay, uh, I think we want a Bane Wolf here. Um, plus one damage for each of your positive name effects. Yeah, let's let's get this freaking Bone Wolf out here. Oh, there's two enemies. I didn't even realize there were two right here. So we're going to. Um. I guess move him close there, and then we're going to. Move three. Move there. And then <laughs> Dale that. Oh, the, because the Bone Wolf didn't trigger because he. Uh, there were two people next to him. Your combo strikes to two additions. Um, every time you play a card that deals magic damage, gain one willpower. I guess we'll do that. Just get that ready. This is. Man, this is getting challenging. I'm gonna do a bunch of crazy stuff here. Oh wow, they've already almost killed our Bone Wolf. <laughs> Rip Bone Wolf, oh my gosh. I mean, I guess he bought us some time. That's still crazy though. Attacking me, okay, that's fair. It's getting defend as well, dang. Knife attack. Okay, what can we do here? Instant, just, yeah, shoot that guy. 
draw a card, and then we'll use. Let's see. Do we have anything crazy here? Um, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna get right in here, and then we're going to force missile. Let's do a ton of all of this crazy stuff. I don't know why I did that. Oh my gosh, that was not the play. That was this is none of this has been the play. I played this so poorly, actually. I played this so poorly. Um, I guess just use that so we all have... Oh my gosh. Okay, we got a bunch of... F oh, watch this. Watch this, actually. After playing card that deals damage. Let's do this. And then we're going to... Use this. Move here. Deal three dam... Oh, wait. We got to... Look at that. Do all of that damage there. All of this crazy shock stuff. Um... I guess do some damage there. Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. Can we not? I want to use this to move. There we go. And then double strike. Oh, not enough willpower. Oh, no. I guess it's not. We don't have enough mana to do that. I guess we could. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, we just really don't. Um. I guess that's what we do. That's all we can really do. There's only two enemies left. These battles are getting way involved. Also, apparently I can skip that. Heroic cards. Congratulations, you've drawn your first heroic card. Heroics are powerful one-shot actions that you can use to swing the title of battle. Heroic cards function just like normal actions except for two significant difference. When a heroic card is played, it is removed from the battle, so each can only be played once per battle. Heroic cards cannot be duplicated by any in-game effect. Mame. I don't know how I got this. Mele oh, that's probably from our legendary. Melee attack three and inflict immobilize, defenseless, and weakened. So just a bunch of crazy stuff. Um, except it's a melee attack, so. Um, melee attack one, inflict exposed. We use that. Actually, we want this person to get up at close and personal. Maim, and then we'll maim. Oh, not enough of power. Mm. Steady shot. And then we'll... I don't know. Oh, man. No, that was not the play. I don't know what we're doing here. I don't know what we're doing here. Clash. Clash there. Okay. And then, okay, here we go. We can advance and then... Oh. Mame. Oh, we were so close. Still one more person. Uh, Chaos Missiles, sure. And... Improvised Attack, oh. There we go. I just want to charge my Water Crystal, come on. Uh, oh, dang. Some pretty good leather armor. Uh, reach on the crack, try to pull out the gem, sure. Oh, he got hurt. Oh, gained a trait unstable. A trait is permanent addition to your hero's core deck. Gain minus two, minus one, plus one, plus one, two damage for all attacks until the end of your turn. Draw a card. Gem of True Sight. Okay, we're getting some pretty crazy things here. So wait, what was this? Gem of True Sight? Oh, I don't have an... Oh. Oh, I do have a slot. Okay, because that thing... A lot of cool stuff I can do here. Um... Oh, that awesome armor there. Um, actually, you know what? No. See, it's like some of the armor, I maybe should be paying attention to like the cards it's adding to the deck, but 
Also, we upgraded that and no one's using it. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't... Head rush. I'm definitely starting to... Uh... Let's see. Will we just be able to walk past this? No. <laughs> um, you know what? We have the money. We're gonna we're gonna pay off. We're gonna pay off. A random event right here. You believe this area to have once known simply as the Northern Forest, a once might woodland area vital to human industry. A band of rattlings seem to have set up camp. Um, what do they have to offer? Oh yeah, I don't really have too much money. Okay, whatever. We're tired. Well, you gotta wait. Sucks to be you. Oh, drained. Do I have to do something right now? I guess we'll do something. Uh, meditate. Um, I don't know. Is there any like crazy good things that we want to upgrade here? Like... Cantrip. Let's, just, let's do the unstable blast. That's pretty good. And we will upgrade force missile. Okay, we we broke for camp twice now. Okay, I believe. Oh, I just real I forgot the map was up there. Okay, here we go. This will be a good place to stop too. Human settlement. We got some food. Got some crafting materials. Like to see it. Uh, yeah. Well, oh, we we have. Oh, we don't even have the money. Refuse to pay the girl. Okay, so let's yeah let's shelter here real fast. Upgrade. We can upgrade the shield. We'll do that. Okay. I, I want to get there. I know this has been a little bit of a longer um, let's play than I normally do, so I'm, I'm excited to, uh, to get to here. Okay, here we go. As you approach, you are confronted by a tall elven man in tattered ceremonial robes. He firmly orders you to leave, claiming that the temple is under his protection. You try to explain that you need the power of the scribe pool to help the people, but the man refuses to allow you access to the temple to steal a little power. So, okay, we're fighting. Okay, so this is probably gonna be the whole thing. Oh my gosh, Necromancer. Boss enemies are among the toughest enemies you will face. A single boss will be a match for your entire party. Like elite enemies, all bosses have a unique special ability that is always active. In addition, bosses have two additional advantages. First, all bosses receive bonus willpower at the start of each turn. Finally, all powers activate uh, on a boss will start... Oh, all powers active on a boss will start with extra resilience, meaning the boss can take more damage before they're discarded. So I like that, like, even when the, it's like, they still have to play the game, like, they have their own decks, but it gains plus one magic damage for every summoned character, and all summons cost minus one. So he's, I'm assuming he's going to be summoning a bunch of stuff here. So all attacks deal plus two damage this turn, draw a random damage card from your, okay. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, he can already see the guy, right? I'm pretty sure, yeah, so... Um, we're gonna advance here, and then we're gonna heroic or heightened senses, and oh, acid flask, yes please. Defend two after performing a melee attack. That's not gonna be useful to us. Move four, defend one per space moved. Just get right up in this person's face. Get a bunch of that melee attack or range attack three. Actually, I, I want to be doing as much here as I can. All attacks deal. Oh, yeah, more damage. Nice. Uh, clash. So let's power shot eight. Oh, no. There, are you kidding me? There's line of sight issue right now. Oh, that's what line of sight is. That's how you see it. Okay, well, I guess we'll move swipe. There we go. Power shot. Eight damage there. And then we can't strike through, so we'll give some armor. Okay, we got in a pretty good position here. Yep, there we go. There's the summons. Husk. Oh my gosh, mad soul. soul. Draw strength. Reach friendly summon. Defend two on that summon. And, oh my gosh, two free. That's insane. Okay, well. Pull all enemies within range three, then defend per adjacent enemy. Okay, yeah. We're going to... Iron Taunt. Bring everyone in. Then we're going to... Uh, melee. Oh, okay. Nine damage to someone. Um, oh, we could heroic again. We have another heightened senses, but I don't think that's the play. Um, push for, here we go. Okay. I think we force missile is out of range. How is everything out of range? 
How is everything out of range? Okay, there we go. Two. I thought it was going to deal more damage. I guess I was wrong. Okay, um, shield bash. You know, it's, I want to shield bash our main person, but um, I don't think that's happening. So we'll just power shot that person. Oh, no, no. Okay, yeah. We'll power shot. Or shield, okay, shield bash that. And we will, there we go. Only dealt two damage that we could have killed the thing. I don't know, maybe we should be killing the summons, I don't know. Oh my gosh, he, he yeeted our guy away. Inflict burning on our elementalist, summoner, all of your, oh, what is that? All of your summons deal one damage and gain one movement. New summons gain two health. Dang, and it's gonna take 12 to get rid of that. All attacks deal more damage. Um, if you are not adjacent to enemy friendlies. Okay, we're gonna advance here, surprisingly. I don't know why I'm really doing this. Um, combo strikes deal more damage. Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. No, okay, that's. I can't really take it that back too much. Melee attack one, inflict exposed. All attacks deal. Let's let's give that to our other guy. Every time you play a card that deals rain, one damage. Oh my gosh, let's set this guy up here. Let's, okay, volley fire. And then we'll use this. I'm gonna just keep hitting, hitting that. All of that stuff stacks, that's awesome. Okay, okay, we have an insane build on our hunter here right now. Move to any free space. Draw strength for each friendly summon, defend two. You've only got one. He's, he is like, I am backing him into a freaking corner. Your next melee deals double damage. Target a character, gain a copy of each of their active powers. Your class talent is twice as effective. I don't have any like actual cards though. Um, okay, well let's start. Every time you play a card, okay, a cantrip. Static discharge. I think we just deal three damage. Yeah, we just we just start doing a bunch of crazy stuff over here. There we go. Okay. Um, your next melee or range attack this turn. That's not gonna help us. Let's move him a little bit better in position, I guess. Because yeah, this person only has nine. Man, he's really backing himself into a freaking corner. Oh, dang, dang. Dang, dang. Oh, she's just dead. One of your heroes has fallen in battle is now up to the remaining heroes to defeat the enemies and save them. When one or more heroes have been defeated, you will get plus two willpower at the start of every turn as the rest of the team rallies around to save their fallen count comrade. Dang, okay, quick shot. Move three. Actually, yeah, that's, we do that because then we do this. Okay, yeah, we, we got this here. Why do I, line of sight's blocked? Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll do that, sure. And then we'll do this. Which allows us to draw another card. Move, yeah, we need to per get this person up on the battle here. Um, there we go, okay. And yeah, move there better, okay, okay. I think we can do this. We got the Bone Wolf. It just depends on what they what it, what it does on his turn. It's a lot of husks. Chain Lightning. Oh my gosh. Okay, we got a lot of health here though, so I'm pretty pretty confident here. Um, bidding time. We don't need that. We're gonna freaking Wolf. Uh, we'll do that right there. Melee attack five. Oh, don't have the. Um, yeah, melee attack five there. Quick shot. Is that going to be enough to kill it? Combo strike. Vol uh, volley fire. We got another volley fire. Oh, we can't even play that volley fire. Man, okay. Okay, this is, this is getting challenging. Chain lightning again? Oh my gosh, and that hurts the bone wolf. Bone wolf is dead, okay. Bone Wolf is absolutely dead. Oh, draw strength is so good. 
Oh, and they're combo striking me now. Okay, Iron Taunt, yeah, let's do that. Nine damage. Um, all attacks deal two damage this turn. I guess we do that, maybe. Improvised attack. I just need to, yeah, focus on this main person here. Okay, what's the most damage we do here? Eight, okay, seven. Melee attacks, what? Melee attack or range, I'm wanting to range attack. Oh, what? Can only be used on targets ad I'm saying ranged attack, is, or is my line of sight being blocked? Oh my gosh, it is. That's how that works, I hate that. Melee attack three. Okay, kill that, there we go. Is our line of sight blocked now? Oh my, it still is. So I guess we'll just melee attack, oh my gosh. Melee attack, okay, at least, okay, we got a lot of damage in there. Sort of, you still got 18 health, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Draw strength. On play, by equipping good quality weapons and items, your heroes can gain a number of redraws. One great way to use your redraws to replace weakness cards in your hand, try this now. Oh, I didn't even know we had that. To do this, recycle the weakness card and at least one other card in your hunter's hand. I'm doing this, click the redraw icon. Huh. So what, like, I do that and that and I click redraw? Is that what you're telling me? Click to redraw hand, four redraws. What? I'm, I'm, I'm clicking it. What? Let me redraw. One great way to use your redraws is to replace weakness. Try this now. To recycle the weakness cards and at least one other card. Oh, and my hunter's hand. You're wanting to do it to my hunter? Oh. Okay. Well, let me redraw that too then. Okay, well, that's very interesting. Um, like, yeah, I just... Let me... Oh, I can only do one redraw once a turn. Well, see, like, that was a... a man. Do we even have any powers over here? We don't. Okay. Okay, we're just brute forcing our way through here, I guess. We gotta, I mean, I don't know what else to do here. Our class talent. Oh my gosh. Wild swing, four. I don't know, like, do we just focus? I'm like starting to like, I don't know, I'm getting a little worried here right now. I'm getting a little worried here, I'm not gonna lie. Oh wow, he's dead. Are we are we dead? Every time you play a card that deals melee damage. I don't know, move here. I don't. I'm not very confident. I think we just lose this. I unfortunately think we lose this. Wind walk. Oh my gosh. I yeah. I don't know what we do. It's it's over. Dang. Man, I was hoping we would we would get a W here, but I mean maybe it was because we rushed so much to the uh, to the boss and stuff like that. But um, man, this is a very interesting and in depth game. This is like way more uh, in depth than I was I was expecting. I mean you got all these um, retrieve a living world relic. God Hunter. So I maybe these are like, huh, this is so interesting. There might have been a whole other specific like thing as well, or maybe those are just the bosses you find. But wow. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're still watching at this point, um, I know this was way longer of a let's play than I really wanted to. I just, it, I didn't want to cut it in the middle. I wanted to at least get through a whole adventure, you know. So hopefully uh, it was kind of interesting seeing what this game was like and stuff like that. Uh, and I'm very interested. So let me know if you want to see, uh, you know, potentially more Let's Plays uh, of this game. I might be, you know, making a full review on it and stuff like that. That's the plan. Um, so, you know, if you want to see more Let's Plays while I do that, 
Uh, then definitely let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like on all of that good stuff. Um, and like I said earlier, thanks so much for watching. If you're watching these, um, I'm, I'm starting to make so many videos and just on a lot of different games. So I really appreciate uh, you guys that are checking them out, uh, especially all the weird roguelites and stuff like that. Because that's that's like some of the most fun I have on this channel. So uh, if you guys are going to be grinding out some games of Trials of Fire, then I wish you guys luck and see you guys next time.